Hello everyone, I am Andrea. This is my channel, Fall for the Smell. I um, live and work on the Kansas side of Kansas City, and I am a mom of three biological children, three stepchildren, and happily remarried to my husband, Christopher. And um, on my channel, I typically um, talk about Scentsy. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, as well as like, home fragrance and beauty and just things I've used up and things I'm loving. So um, today I wanted to just kind of share some affordable beauty products and they are by e.l.f. I purchased these uh, from a mixture of um, our local grocery store which is hy V. so some of you may have that if you're in Iowa, Missouri, or Kansas. Um, I believe they're in Nebraska as well. And comment below if you have hy V. I I love it. And um, I've also purchased it at Ulta, Walmart, and CVS. So um, I'm going to do this haul actually in two parts because I was kind of purposely collecting them over a few weeks and got quite a bit of it. Um, all the e.l.f. products that I've tried I have liked so I kind of wanted to add something affordable to my collection and see how I felt about them before I recommended them or um, gifted them because um, I know several teenage girls and preteens and um, just friends of mine and family members and I want to make sure I'm giving them a product that I myself would use and something that's also affordable for them on you know a high school student or college student salary and elf is really accessible and affordable for most of us and i think it's a great alternative the only product i've ever tried from them that i didn't like was their bubble mask and i just kind of have an aversion to bubble masks in general they just <laughs> they make me feel so weird and you know i i usually do my masks in bed in the evening and my husband is right next to me and he kind of laughs at how kind of weirded out I am by it and just the noise it makes and what it looks like so um, but that's the only product so far so just wanted to share part one with you and this uh, these are all like blushes applicators and some skincare so let me show you the blushes first um, I don't think any of the products that I'm going to share today and tomorrow cost more than $10 each. There were even some of them that were like $3. So this is the e.l.f. Primer Infu Infused Blush in Always Rosy. I'm sorry about the glare there. And it says for long lasting wear. I do like that um, the size of these are so big. It's 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. A lot of blushes are much smaller. Um, I have seen the little Maybelline Fit Me blushes that it, like almost just fit in the palm of your hand only. This feels much bigger to me. I have to hold it um, with my entire hand. I can't just set it on there. And I think that this is a little bit darker color um, for me, but I think it's going to be perfect for springtime. So again, this one is always rosy. And then I did a blush palette. Um, it says it has a mirror included, so you can see it here. And um, it just says light. The total amount is 13.6 grams and 0.48 ounces. So you get two blushes, kind of just depending on what your mood is gonna be. I like to take this with me when I travel because, you know, something different for daytime versus evening. We try to get away as much as we can. Um, despite having a big family, even if it's for a night or two, and then my parents are about a four and a half hour drive. So I um, love having the two different options here. And on this one, I do not uh, see, oh, it actually says it holds four gorgeous shades. Now I need to open it. I thought it was two. <laughs> so let me open it here. I haven't tried an e.l.f. blush that I know of unless I had grabbed it several years ago and forgotten about it. Um, when I went through my collection, I didn't see any, so I may have um, inadvertently passed along or decluttered it. 
but ooh, this is pretty. There are four here, and you could even use some of those um, those ones here, like as a bronzer. Um, those would be really pretty in the crease, but it's really a good range of like a warm pink, a cool pink, and then kind of this more sand color, and then kind of a peachy one down there in the corner. So I actually have five e.l.f. blush colors in my lap, so that is exciting. And then what else do we have? One bag. Those are the ones for tomorrow. Um, and then I have just a face sponge. This is very similar to um, the Beauty Blender at a, literally a fraction of the cost. I think it was like $3 and I like the berry color. It matches my cardigan here today. So um, I don't like to keep beauty um, sponges for a long time. I clean them out. Um, I probably clean them out really well three or four times and then I toss them. And then um, for the face, I have their hydrating face uh, primer. I don't know. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to go in focus most of the time. So I need to play around with it. Um, it says apply to clean skin prior to makeup application. Use a small amount and blend evenly over the face. Um, I did notice that they have these in like four, four to six different primers. Um, but I have dry skin, so I went toward the hydrating primer. So you may need to adjust based on your skincare. And then to go over top, this is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder, and this is in light and medium. Um, this is almost the same size as the blush that I showed you first. It is 9.4 grams and 0.33 ounces. Um, it says can be worn alone or over the Beautifully Bare Foundation Serum. So um, I'm going to have to get some of their liquid foundation because I don't have that in this haul today or tomorrow. And then uh, finally for today, two skincare products. And these are new. I picked these up at Ulta. This one is the Super Hydrate... Um, moisturizer and it says a moisturizer with hydrating squalane and I have used the Biosense squalane for years um, I get that at Ulta it's a lot more expensive than this um, this is 1.69 ounces so a good size let me open it here so you can see I think it has really pretty packaging um, I know you shouldn't judge your skincare by the packaging but it sure is nice to have it on your counter and I'm more likely to reach for it um, but I just love the packaging. It's just very clean. It kind of reminds me of Clinique, but this is a good size jar. And then um, the last item from e.l.f. that I have is a mask, and this one is new as well. It's called their Super Mask, and it says a mask with soothing Centella Asiatica, Asiatica, and it is 1.8 ounces, so it's a good size. The directions uh, for this one says, Use after thoroughly cleansing, apply on even layer all over face and neck. Allow the mask to sit for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse with warm water. So uh, put it on, set your timer, start your Netflix show. That is what I do on the evenings when I do a mask. Um, again, I think the packaging is really pretty. It's, it's heavy. Um, I kind of like this weird greenish yellow color. But I am always down for something that helps with hydration and redness. And it says on the back it soothes and helps with redness and supports skin renewal. So that is why I grabbed this particular mask. So I will show you the rest of my e.l.f. haul tomorrow. If you like this kind of video, you're interested in home fragrance, you're interested in Scentsy, or just um, the couple of little inserts here and there about my family please hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have a youtube channel as well so that i can check you out i am lucky in my career that um i can have earbuds in all day so i don't watch a lot of youtube videos but i certainly listen to um couple hours of youtube a day just at work and um, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy um, helping out other YouTubers 
and there's just so much dang content. It's, <laughs> it's hard to sift through, and um, I would love if you would share in the comments. All right, well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.